गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी विल मूव अहेड विद द टॉपिक दैट इज डाइजेशन ऑफ द फूड नाउ द पार्शली डाइजेस्टेड फूड मूव्स टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन दैट इज ड्यूडिनम हेयर इन ड्यूडिनम द पेनक्रैटिक जूसेस रीच द पेनक्रैटिक जूसेस कंटेन सम ऑफ द एंजाइम्स लाइक पेनक्रैटिक एमाइलेस पेनक्रैटिक लाइपेस एंड ट्रिप्सिन दीज थ्री आर द एंजाइम्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन पेनक्रैटिक जूसेस फर्स्ट पेनक्रैटिक एमाइलेस pancreatic lipase and trypsin pancreatic amylase is for the conversion of carbohydrate that is starch starch is a complex carbohydrate into sugar then pancreatic lipase converts fats or lipids into fatty acid or glycerol here this side is the simple form of the food and here this side shows the complex form of the food you can see here these are the complex forms and ultimately they are converted into their simple forms now the uh, trypsin it converts protein into amino acid so these are the pancreatic juices and they are the enzymes which are present in pancreatic juices first pancreatic amylase that converts starch into sugar then pancreatic lipase that converts fats into fatty acid and uh, trypsin that converts protein into amino acid one amazing fact about trypsin that is a protein digesting enzyme it needs alkaline medium if you remember in stomach there is one protein digesting enzyme called pepsin that needs acidic medium in last video we have already discussed that pepsin needs acidic medium and hcl provides acidic medium or the environment so that pepsin can convert a uh, protein into amino acid but here trypsin although it is also protein digesting enzyme but it requires alkaline medium uh, so that it can convert protein into amino acid unless or until it won't get alkaline medium trypsin cannot convert complex protein into amino acid simple form so condition applied is trypsin requires alkaline medium okay now see how the trypsin gets alkaline medium trypsin will get alkaline medium by the inner wall of duodenum inner wall of duodenum where the food has reached it will receive uh, or it will release bicarbonate ions so these bicarbonate ions will provide alkaline medium to the trypsin so that trypsin may convert protein into amino acid second thing is bile juice secreted by the liver so two things are there one is bile juice which is secreted by the liver and second is inner wall of the duodenum which releases bicarbonate ions so these two things are there which provide alkaline medium or the basic medium for the conversion of protein into amino acid by the action of trypsin now the th third question arises what is the role of bile juice bile juice is secreted by the liver the largest gland of the body and uh, it is stored in gall bladder temporarily then whenever there is uh, the need it is Uh, carried to the duodenum duodenum is the part of small intestine bile juice gives alkaline medium to trypsin this is the first and foremost importance of bile juice to give the alkaline medium to trypsin so that trypsin may convert protein into amino acid this you know second very important point examination point of view is emulsification of fats done by the bile juice emulsification of fats means the conversion or the process of conversion of fat into fat droplets that is called emulsification and uh, you can say the uh, conversion or breaking of the bigger molecules of fat into smaller pieces that is called emulsification and bile juice helps in emulsification of fat or you can say digestion of the fat because in emulsification fat bigger molecules of fats are broken down into smaller molecules so this is how uh, bile juice is very important to give alkaline medium to trypsin and for emulsification of fat although bile juice does not contain any enzyme but it plays these two major roles thank you